that it might be done away with. Watch this, that we should no longer be a slave to sin. He's not just talking about our actions. He's talking about our identity. He's talking about bondage, just always thinking that's who we are. Wearing a false robe, a false garment, a false identity. Come on, let's take off these old clothes. Yeah? See, that's, you can use garments. The Bible uses garments a lot. Robe of, robe of righteousness, garment of salvation. The old man took off his sash that was blind, and he threw it by the curb and went to meet Jesus. Why? Because he don't have to wear a beggar sash anymore because he's going to get his sight, and he ain't going to beg. It's a change. So you got to take off that thing you're wearing. It doesn't fit you. If you don't look good in it, that's why. It, you, it's the wrong color. It don't match. And if you could see it in the flesh, you'd have never pulled it off the rack and put it on. So why are you wearing it? Because it don't look good on you. Frustration don't look good on you. Bitterness don't look good on you. Anger don't look good on you. Offense don't look good. Discouragement, disappointment, complaining. It don't look good on you. So why wear it? Why keep it in the closet? Take it off and never put it on again. And put on Christ. You understand what the Bible says, put off, put on? Because you don't look good in anything you weren't created for. Because you don't look like Him. Are you with me? I feel the gospel in my heart. I'm excited. You're getting my front row growls and grunts, aren't you? <laughs> so I really do do that. I don't just do that on YouTube, huh? They don't add that in. So it's really happening. I don't even know I do it. People just laugh about it. And then sometimes people see me go, Ur. and I'll go, what? And they'll go, Ur. and I'm like, do I do that? All the time, all the time. And so then when I do it, I'm like, oh, I did that. It's not a thing I practice, you know. It's just something I feel in my heart. It's like, Ugh. I feel it a lot right now. I'm actually growling way less than I feel. I really am. I, I could really be tearing it up right now. Make a dog scared right now. <laughs> that dude's alpha right there. <laughs> that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be a slave to sin. Come on, he's talking about not just actions of sin. He's talking about identity, stain, memory. A slave to sin, where you just wake up. See, people don't realize it. They won't admit it. But when they're always saying, well, brother, we're always going to sin. But, but they're a slave to sin. They don't even realize what they're saying. Well, yeah, but we're always sinning. You tell me you're perfect. You didn't sin today, brother. That's the stuff people say, and they can't even hear the gospel because they're so busy challenging everyday life. So how are they ever going to walk free when they're always declaring its lordship over us? That's called a slave. I looked up the word slave. You know what it means? Bound and chained to do one's will. When you're slave to sin, you're bound by the mentality of sin and you're going to do its will because you're chained to that mentality. And it might even violate your heart because your identity skewed It'll produce fruit according to what you believe, even if your heart doesn't want to go there. A true addict, a true suffering addict doesn't want to use, cries herself to sleep. And they get up and still use. Why? Because of the way they see themselves. And it's always an effect of a low esteem. And people that think low of themselves live up to the low level in which they see themselves. If you can teach people who they are, the addiction can be destroyed. We always think it's a spirit of addiction. No, it's a wrong identity. It's people that actually believe they're lower than low. They've thrown away their honor. They violated their own conscience many times. They were sure they wouldn't, and they did anyway. And they trashed their own honor, their own esteem, and their own identity. And then they continue to function in that manner so they believe they're so low, so they act on low. And when they act on low, they affirm that they're low. It's called addiction. I've watched a whole lot of people get free from addiction without prayer. 
just identity. Teaching them who they really are. Laying a hold of their hearts. Saying, man, when's the last time you ever cried this hard because of using? Mm. See, your heart's changing on the inside. God's doing a work in you and you don't even realize it. You're just about there. Oh, I'm telling you. I watched a lady in Florida get free from heroin. They said there was no hope for her. Their family said they gave up on her and there was no hope for her. I watched her get free in one counseling session, never even thought of heroin again and wondered why she used it. Because the lights came on, Kevin. And she went, ding, 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 ding. And realized the lie she was being deceived by. And when the revelation hit her heart, the Spirit of God hit her. I'll never forget it. She, she waved around like this, and the presence of God came on her, and I was sharing, and I said, you see that? You, you are a daughter of God Almighty. He loves you. You've been trapped in the midst of wrong thinking, and I'm preaching, and it's coming out of me by the Spirit. And the Spirit of God goes, she goes, and it, boom, and she fell against the locker. And she's like, and when it was all over, she couldn't imagine using heroin. But a religious-minded person is going to argue with me and tell me, well, either way, I'm making it up and lying. It ain't that simple. Because I get that stuff. People do that. And he's looking to nitpick and make the gospel complicated when it's this simple. And they'll do it in the name of the Lord. The gospel's here to change your identity, to change the way you see yourself so it agrees with how he sees you from the beginning. Very simply put. If you miss that, you will miss the newness of life. <laughs> Can't say it any plainer. That's pretty cut and dry. 